afternoon, YouTube. It's your boy, Damian Cryer. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and very blessed, amazing day today. Me, I am doing just fine. Um, I was just sitting here, just reading through some stuff, you know? Um, oh, by the way, yes, I'm doing okay. Uh, I guess nothing shocks me anymore. Let's just put it that way. I've just dived straight in. Nothing shocks me anymore. It's like this article that I'm about to agree to tell you guys about. It happened. Uh, the article was published um, November 30th, 2017. So it's actually been less than a year because this is uh, July of 2018. So it's less than a year. Wow. So this article. <laughs> You know, I usually don't do stuff like this on my YouTube channel. And I know there's things that we should do, we need to do, and there's things that we simply should not do. So, before I get into this, I'm going to apologize to this person in advance. Because he probably can whoop me. He probably can beat the brakes off me. Maybe. I fight dirty. Yeah, just kidding, just kidding. Sort of. Anyway, this article starts off as, now, you guys, I, I have my glasses on, so bear with me. I might have them on and off. Um, I wear reading glasses, so um, I, I, mainly, I mainly wear them when I'm actually reading something. And you have very small print, so the article starts off. Again, this is November 30th, 2017. I don't know what the current is on this situation yet. So I'm gonna do some further investigating on this. It says, the lament of actor and ex-linebacker, Terry Crews. The man says, he was sexually harassed. Hmm, I hope he was harassed by a female. Um. Terry Crews is a hawk of a man standing at six foot three inches tall and weighing in at 240 pounds. He was a linebacker in the National Football League in the early 90s who paralyzed, yeah, who paralyzed his sparkling personality and comic talent into a successful acting career. Well, we already know what it's going to go because listen how it titles, how it starts off. You know, they want to let everybody know, you know exactly who this guy is before we get to the point. So I'm going to read it one more time. Terry Crews is a hawk. 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 Terry Crews is a hawk of a man standing at six feet, three inches tall weighing in at 240 pounds. He was a linebacker in the National Football League in the early 90s, who, I'm sorry, who parlayed his sparkling personality and comic talent into a successful acting career. Now, 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 when you read the topping like that, the first thing you would think is, oh my God, another actor passed on. But that's just simply not the case here. It says moviegoers likely know Cruz from his roles in opera disc comedies like White Chicks and Blended. While television fans might recognize him from Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Everybody Hates Chris. You know, so he's well known. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he played in Friday. One of the Fridays, I don't remember, it seemed like he was doing like a Tupac dance, dancing off of a Tupac song or something. If I, I mean, I could be wrong. So it says, um, as intimidating, famous, and beloved as the actor is, he wants everyone to know that even he felt afraid to come forward with his own story of being sexually harassed last year by a powerful man in Hollywood. You know, 
again there's things that we should do and there's things that we shouldn't do i don't know if there's something that i should not be doing but you know what i'm going to do it because let me just finish reading let me finish reading <laughs> i mean i'm i'm tripping man i'm tripping now some of these words are very long so if i mispronounce them guys please don't judge me man please don't judge me you're gonna judge me in a way but i don't really care so if i mispronounce a word i don't care you get the point you get the message he was a mid-level actor and his alleged assailant was a okay well whoa he was a mid-level actor and his alleged uh, assailant was a powerful hollywood agent with the capacity with the capacity to potentially squash his career cruz Orton also didn't think many people would believe him he said he said on twitter but after the new york times published an uh, exposed on uh, october 5th alleging that film producer harvey weinstein used his position to sexually harass and assault aspiring young women he chose to open up cruz alleged that talent agent adam Vinit Vinit groped his <laughs> Cruz alleged that talent agent Adam Vinit groped his genitals at a Hollywood party. Cruz acknowledges the obvious question why would a man of his muscle just wall up any predator? The actor wanted to fight him to strike back. He has said, but feared that the situation would be misperceived since he is a large black man. He didn't want to end up in jail or lose his career. I can't read no more of this. Woo! Terry Crews. I just want to ask you one question, man. One question. Like I said, you're a pretty big dude. So I'm going to see you coming from a mile away. I may not be able to whoop you, but if I see you coming my way and I know you're coming after me, I'm going to pick something up and throw it at you and I'm going to take off running. <laughs> Call me a Mitch if you want. I'll just be a Mitch. I just got one question to ask you, Mr. Cruz. Really? Really? You mean to tell me six foot three inches tall, 240 plus pounds, ex-linebacker, and you... You, you you alleged that somebody walked up to you and grabbed your package, bro. I mean, I ain't the smartest person in the world, but, you know, I would say, as big as this dude is, and uh, the, the stone look on his face, most people would probably be intimidating to even speak to him. You feel me? Most people would be intimidated just to speak to him because of his size, his mass, girth, as they say, girth. You mean to tell me that somebody was that comfortable with you to go up to you and grab your genitals? I mean, you have to be comfortable with a person in order to do that. I mean, you see yourself at the grocery store. Let's just say example. See yourself at the grocery store, grocery shopping. Hey, how you doing, Dave? Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, come here. Ah, yeah, hey, wow, nice there, buddy. Really, dude? Never is that going to happen. A person has to be comfortable. Now, we all in the store, you know, when we got our woman, what is, you know, nobody looking. She look nice in a nice pair of jeans, all fitted up yoga pants. She's going to squeeze your left fill in. She's going to be like, stop it. You better go somewhere. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know, because men do it. And women, y'all love that stuff. You know, y'all know y'all man is all into y'all. So what I'm saying is that when you do that, you're comfortable doing it. You're comfortable doing that. You're not going to do it unless you're comfortable. So somebody's not telling the truth about something. I need to know, man. Mr. Cruz, if you're watching this video, and Lord, I pray you're not watching it. Because I know if you're watching it, you're going to be on my top. You got the money and you got the power. Listen, bro. I just need to know, man. I mean, really, dude? I mean, you, 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 fear of losing your career as a black man? Let me tell you something, man. 
Somebody walk up to me and put their hand on me. Especially a man. I'm going to lay him out. There's going to be some furniture moving all over the place. You know. Now, if you touch me in a playful way, like, hey, hey, buddy. That's one thing. You coming up to me and grabbing me privately, I'm going to put you to sleep, bro. I, I, now, I don't want you guys to think I'm no violent, crazy type dude, because I'm not. It's just that I cannot believe everything that I read. Don't believe what you read, man. And if you do believe it, read into it. See it for what it is. Never am I going to sit here and believe that this man was scared to come forward because he didn't want to go to jail or lose his career. And how long after the fact did you wait to come forward? I wouldn't, man, first of all, I would have never told nobody about that. I would have handled that with him one-on-one. -on -one. I would have never went public with this, man. It, again, there's things that you do. There's things that you need to do. And there's things that you absolutely do not do. I would not have came public with this. It's sad. It's sickening. It's disgusting. Especially we know, you know, our kids being touched or our daughters and our sons. You know, it's sick. You know, and we have to come forward and say something. But when you got a public figure, somebody that's well known, I, I just don't buy into the whole thing as far as he wasn't expecting it. You know, why did you wait so long to come forward? Is this something that you need to tell us? Something that we need to know about you? I mean, we ain't going to judge you, but tell us the truth, man. If you're, you know, one of those guys who's just cool with stuff like that, say it. We're not going to judge you. I'm not here to judge. I just want to know, you know, um, if you were so upset about it, why did you come public with it? You know, um, you seem like that you got some hood in you, and it seemed like that you would have uh, handled that situation. Um, so, again, I'm going to shut up. Guys, I really need you to leave me a comment in the comment section down below because I have to know your opinion. I want to know if any of you guys are familiar with the story that was published last October because um, um, I'm going to be reading into this and get myself an update. I need to get out of here and get myself ready for work. Please leave me a comment. I have to know what you guys think. Research it. Pull it up. Go into uh, Terry Crews News. It'd be an article from less than a year ago. Last November. I'm sorry. Last October. This was the last October. Last November. I have to pull it back up on my phone. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Read it. Let me know. I need details. I need to know that am I reading this right. And what I just read. Did I really just read that? Now, it may be old news to some because you know what they say. Big news is squashed by new news. You can have something catastrophic happen today, and it'll be talked about. Something else happened tomorrow big, it's going to squash that news. So this is new news to me. Even though it's 2017 news, it's new news to me. Please, again, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And let me know what you think. You mean, do you think he was cool with it? Or did something trigger him to come forward because something didn't go right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this. Um, hope Mr. Cruz is not watching this video because if he is, that means I'm going to have to go into hiding. Um, I love you guys. I'm Damian Cryer. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next vlog. Peace.